Hey guys, we are here in the class wars of the month of January, the first one in 2014 and also the first one where we got the new sylphs happening. So I have uh, the two new ones, the Gaia and the Amazon Queen, but they are just tiny newbie uh, sylphs for me right now and I haven't decided which one I'm more inclined that, uh, f that I will choose Gaia for reasons I will explain in another video dedicated to sylphs but for now for this class wars I'm going to go with my level 79 uh, blue iris who has served me very well and so the first thing is to do when uh, let's let's bring the chat down a little bit <coughs> there's a lot of uh, good luck uh, messages sent over um, let's not forget so first to put up the um, the potions so we use big potions for class wars so we got level 5 power level 5 defense level 5 intelligence uh, level 5 charisma as well as endurance so these are heavy heavy potions the the critical i'm actually going to use it because i think it might might affect uh, the seals i don't know but since i have many of them I'm actually going to use two for scrolls. You need to use two so they last the whole hour. For the troop counts, one, two, health, one, two, magic defense, one, two, physical defense, one, two, magic attack. I'm going to actually use that just in case it's working on self again. Not 100% sure, but better safe than sorry. Physical attack, one and two. You see I'm already working on my level 70 set, um, so it's slowly coming coming uh, to fruition. Got uh, crystals enough for one more item and basically I need one item uh, for having the level 70 set. So that's gonna be hopefully by the next class force, but still you know 400 crystals gathering it, it takes a while. So I don't know how long that'll take. Um, nothing else really needs to be used other than the potions and the scrolls to check that the equipment is right. Uh, the seconds are, are uh, going down. I got the high commander medallion because that's the highest I have uh, rank for. Um, still have a little bit 3000 honor to go to, to the imperial commander and that's going to be a, a major step for me. I'm mostly getting honor from uh, guild battles so that's why it's taking a long, long while. Brutality edge a uh, level seven uh, so that that'll help me uh, 105,000 bell rating as usual every class wars is the strongest I've ever been um, but I'm actually not thinking of winning uh, for the main reason of the new sylphs because they are really powerful in terms of skills I'm gonna go with offensive build uh, to be able to use the whirlwind to clear out the troops now the good thing is i got my blood rune to level 9 finally and that's gonna hit quite hard at 8000 damage up to 8000 damage uh, even during normal time and even more so actually i'm putting a lot of money on the blood rune so that could get me some wins uh, i can't actually see the timer because i got like almost uh, four pages of buffs on me um, the troops is also a good idea to just make sure that you got the full amount of troops. Let's recruit a bunch of them uh, just because we can. In terms of astrals, I'm actually not going to remove anything. Uh, you know, in the past we used to remove the magic defense, but uh, not for now. And also, uh, because of the sylph attacks, uh, are usually magic attacks. I'm expecting in the Knights class wars uh, a lot of attacks. Um, yeah, uh, based on, on magic from Apollo and uh, Gaia, for example, or Iris as well. Got the illusion to level 8, so I'm also hoping it'll work. So let's go. First one, we got Edwin here. <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty, I don't know why. That one was clicked a bit late. So the first indication if uh, you will win or lose is going to come up from uh, from the Templars. It's going to come up from so when you see the Templars of the enemy are are at a lower level that that is a good sign let's say. 
Now what I want to do is I want to clear up the troops as fast as possible so I can put the bleeding. That's quite uh, important. He's gonna shield up. He's gonna heal for reasons unknown to me actually. And probably he is going to set his major attack to which I will reply with uh, with my with my healing rain dance. So there he goes with the Delphic and I'm gonna reply with healing. So although the Templars are hurt, I am just fine. So here we go. 42,000 less than I thought. Less than I thought. But first win, 200 points. So, good start. Next round coming up. Let's see who we got for an enemy. And to remind myself, I want to start with Brutality Ultimate Slasher, probably. Oh, this does not look good. There is a purple Apollo there with all fiery friends. Doesn't look good, doesn't look good. But we're gonna give it a shot. See if we can win. He hits hard as well. One Templar out. That illusion activated on the Sylph attack, I think. But yeah, it's not looking good at all. At all. So I'm not even trying too much. He's gonna burn me. And now he's gonna hit me with his strong one. And I'm gonna try to reply with healing. See if that works out. He's back to normal. And, and following up with Delphic. Not too bad actually, starting to look a little bit better for me, but not entirely. I can heal one more time and then I will cancel the self mode. We go to try to use my own Delph, but he has too much life and too much defense, so I don't think I'll be winning. He goes already again to the Sylph mode. And yeah, it's just too much health for me to win. But I did a lot better than I thought, I must say that. What I didn't do is I didn't put the bleeding and I just realized it that I didn't put the bleeding. Which is quite silly. Next round coming up. I wanted to see also I have how much uh, 28,000 physical attack. 24 and a half a bit more uh, physical defense. And 18.6 magic defense. With around 100,000 uh, life. So on the life side as you see it's not so much. Because there are some knights who have 100,000 without any pots. But uh, I prioritized the defenses rather than the the health. So this one worked out faster with Renji. I'm a little bit fooling around, I suppose. taking care of another run on another PC as well but good to have a victory here we still have good chances so spirits are high 4th round let's see who we get as an enemy 
seconds to the surprise we got Rudolph with 68 Templars so not too bad at all so that should go out fast as well hopefully So there, now let's look at the bleeding actually. Now he's got full health. I'm gonna put up a shield. 5700 is of course based on his health, but bear in mind is it's doing that on, on the full um, on the regular time. So I think it's a lot of damage actually. The the bleeding is insane. So the shield was able to absorb his, his ultimate. And now it's my turn with brutality, although he goes to pan. I'm not sure he can take this. Oh he did! Good job. Good job. All right, one more victory in the pocket. Let's keep it going at this pace. When we go to the next round, and it's going to slowly start getting tougher and tougher. I'm a little bit afraid of the <laughs> of the difficult ones. Here we got a 70 warlock Zarna, Zarna if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But uh, bear in mind there is a blue 2 star Apollo, so I'm actually not going to be feeling very safe right now. Because um, the Apollo can make things very ugly for me very fast. So the Warlock's gotta go fast, bleeding is gonna go on Zarna, and I'm gonna hit her hard. Get that damage through as much as possible before th that Apollo shows up. 74. Rage. Can't make it perfect for Enhanced Delphic unfortunately. And she's gonna call Apollo anytime. So I'm gonna actually go in with a shield and back to Iris for healing. With brutality so I can do some damage on the way. There you go, we start with uh, damage because I have the brutality on. And then it's gonna go healing time. So here is hitting with the uh, she's hitting with the ultimate, but I'm gonna heal first. But the Templars will die regardless. So it's an exchange of the ultimates, but mine should win. Yep. You see, I got a lot less damage now that I've raised my magic defense. I get a lot less damage than I did before. So I'm very happy that I took that decision to prioritize magic defense. And all my resources went into magic defense gems. Uh, of course, the fact that we had a um, soul engraving event helped also to amplify their effect. So now, uh, together with Iris, who's giving a little bit of buff uh, for magic defense, I'm at 18.6, which is much, much better than, than the 12, 13, 14 that I had last time. So hopefully I'll be getting much less damage from those Apollos, and that'll give me higher chance of passing on to the finals. Next round is upon us. I'm expecting actually a difficult enemy right now because I think I won three times in a row and I think after three times in a row the game tends to give you somebody more difficult. So here we got 73 level Templars Revelk. So let's see how we do on this one. One Templar cleared out. The sooner I can put the bleeding, the better. Oh, almost. I couldn't put the bleeding because of that Templar. Luckily for me, 
Rebel uh. went for a shield. And so he lost one round of brutality, which is really good. So I'm gonna also go for the shield while we're at the normal time. Alright. I can't wait for brutality, I need to go to sylph mode and heal also the Templars. Because then they might be able to take some of the damage from, from uh, Revel. So now we're actually equal because normally he should be able to kill Templars. One Templar survived. So that can actually help me um, help me by him taking some hits in my place. So nice healing. But I'm going to keep on bombarding him with, uh, yeah, with, with my skills. Because he's now suffering from both my attacks as well as bleeding. Oh, and there's an area damage coming. Alright, we're both back to regular mode. The difference is I have Brutality Enhanced Delphic Destroyer. But I thought it was only me, but also he has the same. I actually thought should I use the brutality with an EDD or should I go for the bleeding because bleeding was also ready but this worked out just well just fine so heavy for another victory 1130 points and uh, yeah very soon the next round here we go let's have the enemy let's have the name we got we got Binjai, 77 Templars, Blue 2 Star Iris. So I am I have a slight advantage to begin with in terms of stuff that we got, but uh, he can easily have more more things. So that's the first indication of whirlwind. He hit me 3,000 something for each, and I hit him actually weaker. So that that shows that even though I might have some some stuff extra, he is actually hitting much stronger. So I should be very careful. Need to get rid of this Templar, put the bleeding and heal my own Templars. Or at least one of them. Because he, he took out one. Gonna go with an auto attack actually. Auto attack, bleeding. I don't know why I hit the slasher. Wanna put up the shields. He's going for Whirlwind because he wants to get rid of that Templar. That's the motivation, I think. So both of us into Sylph mode and healing both of us as well. But he's got bleeding on him and I don't. So there's a slight advantage in that. So he hits harder, I'm slightly ahead of him. Here comes his ultimate. And I'll answer with healing of course. 29 damage. Oh I didn't click the button. Oh that was ridiculous. I thought I clicked the button but I didn't apparently. So here we go. I'm gonna hit him with a regular one. Oh, we're actually going into 100% mode and he's going to hit me with Delphic at 100% and I'm hitting him. If I survive this hit, I will win. Oh, that is so close and I'm going to hit him with 100% brutality Delphic, but I bled out. I bled out. So I could have definitely played that one better. I don't know what went wrong in there. But I definitely could have played that one better. So disappointing battle that. But don't want to criticize myself too much. Because we got still battles to fight. We got Kurochka. 74 Templars. 1 star Apollo. Hitting very hard actually. Got me worried. 
Because with block, he, he actually hit quite hard. So I need to get this uh, Templar away fast. Okay, here we go. Gonna put that bleeding on him. Shield up. And time to switch to healing mode. He is going Apollo. Now in this particular case I don't need to heal my Templar because he's gonna kill he's gonna kill the Templar. So I'm gonna put healing but the Templar will die now and the healing will go on me. So that's good. And now comes his his mega attack or the, the stronger one he's got. Probably should have answered with healing, but I thought it would be safe. So here we go. Oh, he's got a healing rune, so he, he's, he healed himself. But I prefer the, the I prefer the bleeding rune. So he goes enhanced Delphic Destroyer, and I'm just gonna answer it with healing. Hopefully, I will survive it. Better if I could block it. No, no block. But I did illusion one out there. So he is going down. He is putting up a shield. And I'm gonna put a bleeding. And do enhanced Delphic Destroyer. I don't think he can come out of it. He's switching to self mode. But all that action actually gave him bleeding, bleeding and bleeding. And so he died. So that was a good one. Good fight. And let's see the next one. Seven rounds left. We got sub zero. Now we got some serious trouble. So I have to try to kill the Templars behind him, which is going to be a little bit of a problem because that's much more difficult to do than having the ones because you can only hit them with the ultimate slash and whirlwind basically alternatively with the sylph attack there see the guy stayed alive that is a serious serious problem so I'm gonna go with the shield actually and wait out for my whirlwind to do another go with it I can't bleed him now he went for the bleeding actually uh, because when well, he took the risk it was 50-50 he figured it'll work and it did so I think I have oh he, and he's also crit build so we're gonna have to wait for the bleeding a little bit um, yeah I need to heal myself keep that Templar in a top top shape Nice work with the Apollo shield, and now he's switching to do his damage. So I can't heal now because if I heal, my healing will go into the Templar. So I need to wait until he does the Delphic, which he's doing right now. 28,000. No chance for me to recover from this. 15,000 No, I can't recover. I can put up a shield at most. That was illusion activation, which was nice So I can try to put up a shield and he went for the bleeding I'm going to have to try the brutality. Oh, I don't have enough rage as well for it But I died so it doesn't matter well, that was tough. The chance of winning that was very low. Next round coming up. And already not so many left in the last rounds, as you know, are very, very important. We got Oli with Relaxation Iris, four star. Interestingly, I haven't met any of the new cells. I think people don't want to risk. I think people are going with what they know. And then in the next class wars, perhaps they will they will have the new ones. But let let's see. 
It's still not finished. So, Oli going for a shield. I'll do the same just so that his slasher doesn't hurt me. And he's going for whirlwind. Finally, I can put my bleeding. Switch to Sylph. I might, might just maybe be able to save that Templar, but I don't think because the Templars cannot survive the Delphic of the uh, of Iris. So no point in healing them. But he just took a hit in my place, which is great. So I'm gonna keep on hammering him and heal back that Delphic that he is doing right now. 20,000, no problem. Again, I, I clearly pressed the healing, but it just did nothing. So I'm a little bit surprised at that. Something is definitely going wrong because I'm sure I pressed it and somehow it didn't work. Alright, we're back to human mode. I'm gonna actually go with bleeding because bleeding does a whole lot of damage, especially in the 100% mode. Shielding up. Gonna slash her and enhance Delphic destroy him while the bleeding is hurting him. The good thing is I just got rage reduction so that means um, I can actually do something like whirlwind straight away. With brutality the whirlwind is actually quite dangerous. And he is doing whirlwind but he's gonna die from bleeding. Good stuff. Or my slasher. Both are good. Both are good. So that was a really good fight. 250 points for that one. Continuing with a stressful day. <laughs> Five rounds to go. The more and more important rounds, of course. Here we got Wolf. Wolf. 79 Templars looking all menacing. Starting to hurt me. Actually, that was not a good idea that he hurt me because now, oh, or maybe it was because now the, the damage is coming on me and not the Templars. I actually prefer that because then I can just switch to Iris mode and heal myself. And the Templars are fine and he will be in trouble. I think it was. No, oh, now he's, he's going full force attack. This is quite dangerous. I'm gonna put up a shield. I better survive that attack, otherwise, it'll be quite ridiculous of me. Oh wow, I definitely didn't consider that option. I thought I would survive and heal with Iris, but he just went for it. And he was hitting really hard on the normal time. He is a little bit insulting me, but uh, it's okay. It's all good fun. But the fact is that uh, since he was hitting me so hard um, during the normal time, it's already a good enough indication that during the 50% he would have just obliterated so it wouldn't have helped if I if I would heal myself one time or not all right last four rounds to go with the highest points that there are so it would be awesome if I can get victories we got Terence 68 Templar so first indications are good. Here we go with the whirlwinds, both sides, 3000 something. Same. So far so good. Now that the sequence of attacks didn't work out so well. There's an intercept coming, that's new. So we're gonna clear out the Templars, put the bleeding, textbook. Now switching to a 3 star Iris. I am okay for now just putting up the, the shield. And then I will switch. Oh, 
There we go, with healing. Templar should die. Wow, again my skill was cancelled somehow. That's the, the third time this is happening. I haven't had that before. And now she is healing. Actually the same damage was healed completely. So I'm gonna actually heal back whatever damage she will do. And we're back to human mode I think. For one more attack. I'll try to get as many attacks as I can in sylph mode because magic attack after all. So let's see. Oh intercept, very good job. So that's good planning from Terence. Intercepting that attack. So now it gets a little bit more interesting. She's going to Iris, back to Iris for healing. And I'm gonna keep hitting her with regular attacks and bleeding. And I win, I think, because the time ran out and my health was higher, or maybe my bell rating was higher. I think that's the general rule. So, yeah, good that I managed to win that one. Because points wise, 350 points came through. And those are important to get now in the next rounds as well. Need to win them all, I think. Okay, here we go. We got Plakov, level 77 Templars in front. So a Slasher which was blocked. And a Pancho 3 star Pan. Oh, he's hitting much harder than, than I think I hit him. So it's again now a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna have to risk the bleeding. Yup, thankfully it, it fell on him and not the Templar. There was 50-50 again. Who is it gonna fall on? Actually I will switch also to Iris, try to get my Templars healed up before they die. Let's see if it's successful. One Templar will survive. That's good. Now ultimates on both sides. But he is doing much better than myself. And that Delphic is gonna hurt I bet. Not as much as I thought, but I have no life left. So that is going to be it. Unfortunately, a loss. Alright, we got seconds to go to almost the final round. And we got here Pitufina, level 73 Templars. Two star Iris, so looking good so far. And uh, the slasher damage was not high at all, so I should be able to win this one, hopefully. Now, the, the thing also, what I was thinking is that a lot of the high level people now have already the, the 70 set which I don't have. That could be one of the reasons why um, I didn't do as good in this class wars as I planned or I wanted to. Here we're getting strong attacks. I'm back to uh, switching to sylph mode for healing. Templars are actually perfectly fine. But my health was a bit low, so... 
Actually, she's not doing bad at all. Not at all. There comes healing. I'll also do the same in case I can in, in, can save some of the Templars. So now we're at full health because the Delphic I can heal with uh, with my own healing, regular healing. No, the Templars did not make it unfortunately. So now double healing happening. And we are down to regular mode. And I think my uh, Delphic should activate on 100%. Yep. That was not hard hitting at all. But the most important is I got the bleeding on, on her. So she's going to be getting quite massive bleeding damage. 11,300 every turn. As well as my own attacks. So next round she dies normally. And okay, I won with the timer, but it went a lot more than I expected. So I thought I would win easier, but that's not how it worked out. And now we got the final round, 2970 points. And uh, yeah, that final round have to win absolutely to have a chance for the finals. Although I think I already didn't make it because I think you need like 3500 points. But still, you gotta do your best all the way to the end. And like I said, one of the major po points or problems is that a lot of the top people that get into the finals now will have the 70 set. And I'm still running around with the 60 set, although I am the strongest I've ever been. But yeah, you do the best you can. That's all you can do. So trying brutally to get those Templars killed on both sides. A bit unlucky for, for Beba because that one Templar survived. But uh, when he goes to Sylph mode, uh, that Templar will die. So... We'll both switch to Sylph mode. It doesn't really matter if that damage hits the Templar or not, it did, because he would die anyhow from the Delphic. So, Beba is waiting with the Delphic, actually gonna do it now. And I'm gonna do healing, I've pressed it for sure, it better not get cancelled. So now it's totally back. Now both of us are gonna be roughly at 100% health. And I'm gonna answer with healing that last attack. 13,000, 22 healing. And again, gonna do the bleeding rather than the brutality. So I'm gonna do ultimate slasher replied by Enhanced Delphic at 100% and I just ate a 10,000 bleeding which Beba will do as well, 13,000. But looks like I did manage to win this one. So that's really good, 3,500 points. So I managed to get 3,320 points and I don't think that is good enough. Uh, it's probably not good enough. So we are probably just going to be getting crystals for spending in the shop but probably not the final so it was it was close but not good enough and uh, you could say if i didn't make a couple of mistakes there um then i might have gotten in uh, but it's still really borderline so i still have a lot of work to do to make it more sure than borderline and one of the main things, or the main thing that has to be done is the level uh, 70 set has to be 
yeah has to be achieved it's very difficult but it has to be done one way or another so uh, that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed that uh thanks for watching uh, I'm just gonna hold on to see uh, for the winners uh, perhaps but uh, normally that is all so thanks for watching you guys and have a very nice day